The 1998 Lok Sabha elections transformed the BJP from a political pariah to a mainstream party. Suddenly, the BJP was embraced by the same regional parties that had shunned it in 1996. The embarrassing tag attached to it as a party responsible for the destruction of the Babri Masjid and pursuing divisive communal politics was cast aside. The first ever BJP government headed by Atal Bihari Vajpayee in 1996 had lasted 13 days as the party had failed to secure allies. But two years later, in 1998, the BJP managed to get the support of 17 state-based and smaller parties, which helped Vajpayee cobble together a majority to form a coalition government. Vajpay was sworn in as Prime Minister for the second time on the 19th of March 1998. In the two years between 1996 and 1998, there were two ragtag chaotic United Front coalition governments in India. One of them was headed by H.D. Deva Gowda and the other by I.K. Kujral. Neither of them completed a year in office. Then the BJP returned to power with Vajpay as Prime Minister. There were two main reasons for the BJP's transition, from rejection to acceptance by the political class. One was Vajpayee's image as a moderate leader. The party's tallest mass leader, he had been overshadowed by L.K. Advani, who had led the movement for the construction of the Ram Temple in Ayodhya. After the demolition of the Babri Mosque in December 1992, the BJP needed an image makeover. Reading the writing on the wall, Advani ceded the reins to Vajpayee in 1995. But the more important reason for the BJP's acceptance was its decision to underplay, but by no means give up, its three most contentious agendas. These were the construction of the Ram Temple in Ayodhya, the abrogation of Article 370 in Jammu and Kashmir, and the establishment of a uniform civil code. But to win over allies, the party decided to put these issues on hold until it acquired a majority of its own. Vajpayee launched the National Democratic Alliance or NDA and as Prime Minister headed two NDA coalition governments. The first from 1998 to 99 and the second from 1999 to 2004. From the moment he took over in 1998, Vajpayee wasted no time. In just two months, he stunned the world by conducting five underground nuclear tests in quick succession in May 1998. With this, India declared itself an atomic weapons power state and joined the club of nuclear elites, the others being US, Russia, France, Britain and China. These were of course not the country's first nuclear tests. Those had been conducted back in 1974 under the leadership of Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. But the 1998 tests earned recognition for India as an emerging power in Asia. Still, Vajpayee's second stint in power lasted only 13 months. The government fell in April 1999 after the AIADMK, led by J. Jailalitha, withdrew its support. Jailalitha had joined the NDA coalition as she wanted to seek the dismissal of the DMK government led by K. Karunanidhi in Tamil Nadu. She was involved in several corruption cases and was being hotly pursued by Karunanadi. However, Jayalalitha pulled the rug from under Vajpayee's feet when he refused to give in to her demands. On the 15th of April 1999, Vajpayee moved a confidence motion in the Lok Sabha. Parliament witnessed high drama during the three-day debate that followed as the BJP desperately tried to secure support from opposition parties that were not part of the NDA coalition. Vajpayee would have scraped through the vote but for the Congress's decision to call Odisha Chief Minister Girdhar Gamang to the Lok Sabha to vote against the motion. Gamang had been elected to the Lok Sabha in 1998 but was later appointed Chief Minister of Odisha. He hadn't yet given up his Lok Sabha seat as he was yet to be elected to the Odisha State Legislature. So technically, he was eligible to vote in the Lok Sabha. Vajpayee lost the confidence vote by a solitary vote. It was the vote of Girdhar Gamang that cost him the Prime Ministership. 
Vajpayee resigned on the 27th of April 1998. For the second time in three years, Vajpayee had been eased out of the Prime Minister's office under unusual circumstances. The first time was during his 13-day term in 1996 when he failed to win over a single vote, and the second time when he lost by a single vote. लेकिन कुछ मूल्य ऐसे हैं जीवन मूल्य ऐसे हैं जिनके साथ समझौता नहीं होता। Vajpayee's 13 months in power is remembered for two main achievements. First, for having the courage to declare India a nuclear weapon state despite US sanctions which brought severe economic consequences for India. Second, Vajpayee set an example in successfully managing coalition politics, something his predecessors had failed to until then. It is taking a cue from him that the Congress formed the United Progressive Alliance or UPA in 2004. after snatching the power from the bjp the nda still exists though the bjp under prime minister narendra modi won a majority in 2014 and then in 2019 but the model established by vajpay on how to run a coalition government continues to be relevant even today